Well, fever is always an anxiety-provoking uh, concern, especially for uh, infants and toddlers. And so one question that I deal with all the time is, um, what do I need to know about fever? Um, and first, I think, trying to define fever. Fever um, is defined by actually taking a temperature, and that's an, an art that we uh, need to learn. In the first year of life, taking a, a temperature with a digital thermometer in the rectum is by far the most accurate way to do it. Normal temperatures, and, and this is not an exact measurement, but normal temperatures are anything below 101, which is 38.3 degrees Celsius. Anything below that probably is okay. So that's a little bit higher uh, with a rectal thermometer. It's a little bit higher than, than expected, but that number is good through most of childhood. Um, the question about when can I take a temperature with an ear thermometer, probably at about a year of age is when they start becoming accurate. The temporal scanners are becoming more prominent now, um, but the evidence doesn't really support their use yet in children. The day may come, but right now we recommend using a standard digital thermometer rectally. Fever has been feared throughout centuries. And of course, in the days before people understood uh, germ theory and what causes problems, fever was a natural target to look at as a villain. And so naturally people have feared fever. Still many people fear fever. Still people fear that uh, it could cause damage to brain cells. Gratefully, none of that is true. Fever is actually a friend. Fever does some good things. It does make children feel miserable. And so we do treat it for that reason, but fever is not to be feared. The reason to be feared is really uh, the illness causing the fever, and that's the, that's the real question that we always are asking. And even fevers in, in, you know, in the 103, 104 range will, will not do harm. If a fever reaches 106, we do become a little bit concerned because there's about a 20% chance of serious illness, such as pneumonia or meningitis. Uh, so that's really the, the point where we get concerned. So treating a fever though, we like to say it this way, treat the child, not the thermometer. Because when you're treating a child, probably the best outcome is for the, the child to feel better, but still retain some of the fever for the, for the positive benefits. So again, when treating a fever, we really try to focus on making the child feel better and not so much what the thermometer is reading.